Hello, and welcome back to the Jungle Histology online training series. My name is Ken Longenecker, and this is the last of nine modules designed to teach anybody who's interested how to perform the methods my colleagues and I use for rapid reproductive analysis on coral reef fishes. The topic of this module is reproductive periodicity, or attempting to estimate when a fish species spawns. One way you can determine reproductive season is just to look for hydrated or stage 4BO sites in a fish's ovary. This is an excellent way to know when a fish is about to spawn. Frequently, we just don't have enough specimens with hydrated eggs to confidently predict when spawning season is. It turns out that when a fish is getting ready to spawn, its gonads are getting larger relative to its body size. And we can take advantage of that phenomenon by looking at the period when gonad weight is increasing. We're going to measure that phenomenon using a gonadosomatic index, or a GSI. There are several versions of gonadosomatic indices floating around in the fish literature. We like to use this one. It's just the percentage of gonad weight relative to the non-reproductive body weight, or somatic weight. And we find that somatic weight by subtracting gonad weight from whole body weight. Rearranging that equation then, the GSI we use is gonad weight divided by the quantity whole body weight minus gonad weight, and then multiplying that result by 100. And these columns on your data sheet represent the minimum amount of data that you need to estimate reproductive seasonality. You do need to know the date that the specimen was captured. You would also need to know the whole body weight and the gonad weight. One more bit of information that's really useful is the sex of the specimen. We like to break it down by sex because male gonads just don't get as large relative to body weight as the female gonads do. So if you include a bunch of males, sometimes they can mask big increases in gonad size. So we like to perform an analysis for females, and if it's of interest, a separate analysis for the males. For this GSI analysis to work, you really do need specimens collected over a very broad range of dates, and hopefully you would have several specimens at least collected on each of those dates. This concludes the Jungle Histology training series. I'd like to take this time to thank our funders, 